Hi there, I'm Jen Randall. I'm a documentary slash adventure filmmaker. I run a production company called Lightshed Pictures. And we specialize in short and long form uh, documentaries that really explore identity and the landscape. That's what I'm really interested in getting my teeth into. So today I'm talking about my film, my most recent film, Psycho Vertical which I adapted from Andy Kirkpatrick's award-winning autobiography. Andy Kirkpatrick is a very outspoken, quite often controversial climber and alpinist, best known for doing very long, very dangerous routes on El Capitan and on lots of big scary mountains. I'm going to be talking about the final shot in the film as my money shot and I chose it because although it's very, very simple, really, um, I shot it handheld with a Canon C100 Mark II uh, with an old 50mm prime lens on it, my favourite lens, it was my granddad's lens. I shot this very shortly after Andy topped out on the wall after 18 days of climbing by himself. And our crew had also been bivvying at the top of El Cap for five days uh, shooting him climb the upper section of the wall. So tensions were a little high because energy levels were very low. Um, and it, it was stressful shooting the top out of the wall because I knew it was one of those, one of those cases where you know it's such an important sequence that you're filming. But because we're going for documentary style and authenticity and all that, it was completely unrehearsed. We could only really guess a sort of rough area where he was going to pop up from his route. Um, so we had to respond really quickly to where he was going and try and keep this vision that I had in our minds as well. Um, and I didn't plan this specific shot, but as he was sitting there with his bags at the very end, I, I really felt I had to grab it. It just felt important when those things that all of a sudden you're like, oh, I need this. And so I really, I love, I love this shot because Andy is totally disarmed of his words and jokes. And if you ever meet him or if you watch the film, you'll see that he talks a lot uh, talks fast, cracks a lot of jokes, and just keeps people kind of guessing, not sure what he's going to say next. So here he's not talking, he hasn't got his armor. You can see he's pretty uncomfortable, he's fidgeting, and I know that he hates it when I shoot him this way. So I tried several shots like this with him before, and he was always like, oh, you know, never wanted to do it, but he always did, he was a great sport. And I'm talking to him from behind the camera, you know, saying just look right into the lens, blah, 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 to keep his eyes fixed on the lens, keep that gaze going for as long as we could. So he's vulnerable and he's defenseless, but I think there's something challenging in how he's looking at the camera and looking at us. I especially think his smile at the very, very end of the film, just as the music kicks in and his glance to someone off camera, puts the truth of everything he said in the whole film into question. That, you know, we've spent an hour in this film laying his soul bare and talking about his mistakes and, and you know, his triumphs and his reasons for doing what he does. And then I just feel like that little smile, it's like, maybe that's all crap. Ha, joke's on you. <laughs>